Hi everyone, in this video I will be telling you about how to get started in the stock market and learn how to trade absolutely for free without buying a $300 plus course or paying for any other type of course or something classes. So this is absolutely for free. Um, I suggest uh, writing this stuff down. This won't be exactly everything, everything like on how to do it, but it will tell you what you need to look up. Well, first off, Every, all the information that are usually in courses, especially all the ones I've took, um, I'm able to find right on YouTube or Google, if not better content um, than the course. So that's definitely worth it. Um, another thing is, if, if you're on TD Ameritrade, um, there's an education section right up here. And uh, this has a ton of videos, great videos, that tells you about uh, charts. Uh, technical analysis, all that stuff, all the different types of investing, and everything you need to learn. So in this video, I'll really be mostly talking about how to learn how to day trade for absolutely free, no course. So I will tell you everything you should know um, that I feel like I need to know in order to be a successful day trader. So let's get right into it. Um, the first two things would be technical and fundamental analysis. So first off, Technical analysis goes off charts, and fundamental analysis goes off news, earnings, or like a positive catalyst of the news, um, or company reports and stuff. So basically, that's what that goes off. And when day trading, I would definitely use both of them. Um, those are definitely great um, tools to use. So right in here, I'm going to pull up a chart, Let's see if this will load. We're just going to break down American Airlines real quick. Um, I'll show you some of the other things and other great things on the chart um, and how to learn those too. So basically courses usually, not all of them, all of them are different, but um, we'll cover this stuff. This is like the basic beginner stuff, but it's pretty easy to find on yourself without spending um, 300, 300 plus dollars um, just for the structure of the course. Uh, most of the time when uh, people are getting started, they tend to have um, not be able to know what they should know or learn. So basically in this video, I'll be telling you um, about what you really should learn. So we're going to go over here to charts. Okay, as you can see, there's all the stuff. This stuff would be for fundamental analysis, um, analysis reports, um, fundamental analysis. All right. So some of the things you want to learn is I call the vocab of the chart and I would go over here and let's see go to upper indicators SMA I would go write SMA down in a notebook look it up on Google write the definition down practice using it a couple times now I would do that with every single one of these and that's a great way to learn it too now you know all the chart indicators and you can find which ones you like to use and work best for you um, so that's definitely great. Uh, even some courses won't even go through this stuff, but this is easy. You literally just go pop it in Google and now you know the answer to that. Um, right here, lower indicators, all this stuff. Um, some of them are more common than others. I, I really only use like RSI on balance volume and that stuff the most, but I would definitely get in, um, and look up at least some of those, a couple of them. That would definitely be a good idea, so you can learn those too. The next would be um, well, on the charts, the actual technical stuff. So you can use the technical indicators, like these ones, um, the upper and lower indicators. But I also like to use like support and resistance lines. Um, so that would definitely be something to um, write down and look into. YouTube, there's a ton of great videos on it. Um, and then also, there's also something called the triangle formation, um, where it's like when it forms a um, triangle, you're better off going and looking for a video on that on YouTube too eventually, once you learn all the indicators first. So once you do that, definitely search that up on YouTube and learn that. It's basically just using the triangle shape to find a pattern, using this the top one as a um, resistance and the bottom one as a support line. Um, that's not the best at all either, so don't go off that. Just go look that up on YouTube. It's a great tool to use 
also now we did now we're gonna go on to order types is definitely something good to know most of the time these courses are just common sense to not common sense like common stuff you would probably already know too so order types would be right over here and on TD Ameritrade in the education center um, part you go over and it will tell you exactly how to do all these two when you look down here you can find down here um, how to do certain orders stop limit um, stop loss all that stuff market orders so it's pretty simple too uh, courses usually spend a lot of time covering these and not only that TD Ameritrade has a free course up here too so you don't have to go spend three hundred dollars on a course when this stuff has if anything better information than most courses out there so that's definitely great um, a lot more stuff too a lot more to learn a lot more interesting too so let's see we did that and I would definitely when you're going over and looking up all these I'll look into the different chart types too these are always good to know um, and find which one fits you best so Um, another thing when looking at charts, you would want to find um, patterns. There's also like a couple things on YouTube, um, certain formations like when it forms um, certain. Uh, it's not the best chart to do it on, but uh, certain patterns that it forms that can show like direction that it could possibly go in. So these are also um, that's also good to learn eventually. But just know that look up on YouTube. Um, the triangle pattern and um, also other stock chart patterns that are good to know for day traders or whatever type of investing you're doing or trading you're doing. So I would definitely um, look up that. And once you get the definitions to all the chart terms, to a lot more sense starts to a lot more things start to make sense, which is good too. So you learn a lot. Um, the next uh, main thing I would talk about, and most of you guys probably already do it. But make a good trading plan. So you just write, like, you know, on paper or type it out the price you want to get in at, price you want to sell at, price you're going to buy at, um, where you're going to cut your losses. And also, you'd want to, um, some people, I like to write um, why I'm getting into it, whether that's like good news or earnings, or maybe I really like the chart setup or it has high volume or something. So. And what I'm planning on doing, day trading, swinging, long-term investment. Uh, so definitely making a plan is probably one of the most important things. I mean, making a plan you don't really have to learn. It's pretty simple. Um, but definitely technical, fundamental, the vocab that I went over, uh, order types, chart types, and patterns are definitely great to look into. And that's what most of the stuff as a beginner, you don't know right off the bat. Um so those are definitely good to look into and it's pretty easy to find the answers so and you don't have to go out and spend a uh, money on any course or anything like that because it tells you all this stuff right here it's just about knowing what you should know so another i just have one tip to throw in so some courses some of my some courses might throw stuff in throw um uh, their own tips in too so i guess i'll throw one good tip in and that would be to um when you go in on your position whether it be long term short term day trade go in with half the amount you are originally going to go in with cuz if it goes if it doesn't go as according to plan then you always can buy buy the dip or make a recovery or you get into something else too and you won't lose anything or if it's a long term position you get in it sells off the next day you can always get back in for a lower price. Same with the swing trade. So that's definitely like one of the best things I wish I'd known about. And that's and then that also goes kind of with um, knowing what type of stock you're trading. Those are definitely good to know. Like obviously like a very volatile um, penny stock wouldn't be something good to hold overnight. Um, unless you plan on doing that, you see like long-term potential in the company. You'd also want to pay attention to volume on that. Like if the volume's very high one day, don't be surprised if it sells off the next. 
So you might want to wait that other day till it sells off and get back in. Uh, stick to the plan too with that. Like know what you're trading. Uh, be able to make sense on why it's, why you see pro um, profit or how you see you can make money in it. Definitely pay attention to that with your plan. And that's about it. So that kind of covers everything I've learned in courses and shows you where a free one is right up here on the education part, TD Ameritrade. So this this is great. It's free. Shows you everything. And there's also, I just told you, all the stuff you should learn or what you usually learn in courses. Um, so you can just look that up on YouTube and find it all for free. I would definitely suggest writing it down and trying to um, do it that way. That way there it's like, usually when you do the courses, you um, would take notes. So this is definitely good to know. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. And thanks for watching. Have a good night.